Hey Vinyl Community, it's Michael. Welcome back to Near Wild Heaven. Um, what's playing right now, this is uh, the Fugs first album, and the song playing is called I Couldn't Get High. Really good stuff. Turn this down. Okay, so if you remember, uh, in January I did a video called Albums I Like to Listen to When I'm High. Um, Ohio had just passed a, a recreational marijuana law, so that was back in January. Uh, just this week, they finally opened some dispensaries. So um, I went there and I got me a bag of uh, gummies here, some cool gummies, and do a couple of those and smoke a little bit on top of that and you're all set. So uh, I'm just going to get started here. Um, first up, this is Demon Fuzz, Africa. Um, this came out in 1970 originally. This is a, I think this is an unofficial reissue. It's on uh, the Janus label. But, yeah, this is pretty good. It's uh, kind of, it's instrumental for the most part. There are some vocals in it. It's kind of a mix of, uh, like, psych and R&B, if you can wrap your head around that. But, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, like I said, mostly instrumental, um, but really good to listen to when you got a good buzz going. It's great stuff. Demon Fuzz Afrika. And up next, this is a classic. Uh, Electric Prunes Underground. Um, this came out in 1967. Uh, their second album. Um, this is great. It's really good uh, sight guitar on here. especially love the song, uh, the opening song on side one, The Great Banana Hoax. Is so good. Um, other songs on here like uh, Dr. Do Good, Hideaway, Captain Glory, Long Day's Flight, all of it's really good. Uh, Electric Prunes are one of the best bands to listen to when you got a buzz. Really good stuff. Uh, Electric Prunes Underground. This is, a, this is a copy that I found in cutouts back in the 70s. And it says mono there, right there, but on the front it's got a stereo sticker. So, yeah, but great stuff. Electric Prunes, Underground, their second album. And up next, this is uh, Manfred Mann's Earth Band, Solar Fire. Uh, this is from 1973, the great uh, kind of progressive rock, but kind of on the mellow side. The opening track on side one, Father of Day, Father of Night, excellent song, just so good. All of this is really good. I, this, this is one of those albums that along with um, Dark Side of the Moon, at least in my crowd when I was like my in my teens, in my late teens, this album was played a lot at parties. It was uh, very popular among uh, my friends and I. So yeah, but great stuff. Manfred Mann's Earth Band, Solar Fire. This is that inside on it. Whoops. Take a look at it. So, yeah, there you go. Manfred Mann's Earth Band. And up next, this is uh, Wizards from Kansas. Um, this came out in 1968 it, on the uh, Mercury label. But yeah, really good stuff. Kind of uh, organ dominated a little bit. And um, some good uh, guitar work on here. The harmonies on here are just fantastic. 
really, really good. And they do a killer version of, uh, of Codine. It's a song originally done by uh, Buffy St. Marie. has been covered by many other bands like the Charlestons and other bands like that. But yeah, great stuff. The Wizards from Kansas. Uh, I guess this is their one and only album. But yeah, great stuff from 1968, The Wizards from Kansas. And up next, this is The Black Angels, Live at Levitation. Man, this is so good. Um, this was from 2021. I think it might have been recorded in... Okay, it's got the dates here. All the songs on here are from different um, different shows. Like, uh, so between 2011, 2012, 2010 was when these tracks were recorded. So, uh, but yeah, really good stuff. Manipulation starts it off. Great song. Better Off Alone is good. They do a version of Surf City, which is great. Uh, you on the Run, Empire, and Young Men Dead. It's great stuff from the Black Angels, really psychedelic. Just great guitar work, great vocals, great performances. I can't say enough about this album. It's really, really good. If you like the Black Angels or psychedelic music at all, check this out if you don't know about it. The Black Angels, Live at Levitation. And up next, this is The Velvet Underground. It's the third album, self-titled, came out in 1969. Um, this was the first album without John Cale, with uh, Doug Yule joined. But yeah, this is so good. It's, it's a bit more mellow than uh, their previous albums. Um, I think they were trying to, after John Cale left, um, they kind of ditched the experimental stuff and the avant-garde stuff and just started going for a more uh, straightforward rock sound. But this one's uh, kind of mellow. It's got some really good songs on it. Candy Says is really nice opening. What Goes On is great. Some Kind of Love. Pale Blue Eyes, beautiful song. Uh, Jesus, another one. Beginning to See the Light, I'm Set Free, Story of My Life, The Murder Mystery, and After Hours. It's almost like their first two albums was like, uh, you know, drugs and degradation or, uh, you know, just generally uh, bad vibes. But then this one, it's almost like a redemption. They're uh, very mellow, very good stuff, just really great stuff. And also, there's two different mixes of this album. Uh, this one is a mix that was done by Lou Reed. It is known as the Closet Mix, where he uh, mixed it and he turned up his guitars on ev every track. And you can hear it. It's like his guitars really stand out on this track. But the other version is the Val Valentin mix. And Val Valentin was an engineer on the recording of this, but he did a mix of it, and that's the one that uh, it's... Well, this is... Okay, this is a UK press, so this has the Lou Reed mix. The US press has the Val Valentin mix. So, there you go. But great stuff from the Velvet Underground. Everybody knows about Velvet. It's a great band. Very good uh, record by them. Uh, their third album. And up next, this is uh, Pink Floyd from the BBC recording from March 10th, 1971. Um, this only has two songs on it. But uh, one side is the song, One of These Days, and it's only like almost seven minutes long, six and a half minutes. 
uh, but side B is Echoes from uh, the Metal album, the live version of it on here, and it's like 25 minutes long, but it is fantastic. It's like so good. I mean, these recordings aren't like top, top-notch recordings uh, from the BBC, and they were uh, first broadcast in the 60s, and probably people recorded them off the radio. So uh, whatever the source is of these, um, it's not like top-notch quality, but it is listenable, and they are pretty good, and I'm pretty sure it's recorded in mono. Uh, but yeah, these are really worth having if you want to seek these out if you're a Pink Floyd fan These are really good to check out But the version they do of echoes on here is just excellent And it's great to listen to when you got a good buzz so There you go Pink Floyd BBC 10th of March 1971 And up next This is Kaleidoscope the US band this is their third album called Incredible. This is really good. Um, especially the song, uh, what is it? Oh, Seven Eight Sweet. It's like a 11 minute song and it's just a long psychedelic jam. And it's so good. And it's so worth listening to when you got a good buzz. But yeah, Kaleidoscope, incredible, their third album. And up next, this is another classic. It's a Blue Cheer, Vincibus Eruptum, their first album. Um, yeah, just great stuff. From 1968, their version of Summertime Blues is so good. Um, they also do like Rock Me Baby, Dr. Please, Out of Focus, uh, Parchment Farm, which a lot of people have done, uh, and the second time around. But great classic album from the Blue Cheer uh, on the Phillips label. Uh, great stuff. Everybody knows this one. Real popular album in the vinyl community. Uh, Blue Cheer, Vincibus Eruptum. And up next, this is Aphrodite's Child, 666. This is a fantastic album. It's so good. Um, there's long instrumental jams on here. Uh, the, the album is like based on um, books in the Bible. Uh, the Apocalypse of John 3.18 is what it's based on. But yeah, it's so good. Progressive, uh, like I said, long instrumental jams, just great stuff. Um, this is probably their best known album. I'm not sure how many other albums they have out. I know they have at least one other one besides this. But um, yeah, this is so good. Especially the songs like The Seventh Seal fantastic. Uh, Seven Trumpets is great. Altamont, Seven Bulls, Babylon, The Four Horsemen, all of it's just great stuff to listen to. Uh, really good progressive with touches of psych in it. It's good stuff. Aphrodite's Child, 666. And up next, this is Glass Harp, their first album, self-titled. This is from uh, 1971. Uh, this is really, really good. This is also on the mellow side. Uh, this band is from Cleveland. Uh, in the late 60s, early 70s, they were playing around Cleveland. They got pretty popular and they snagged a recording contract. They made like three albums. Uh, possibly four, but three of them that I know for sure, and then they broke up. And the guitarist on here, Phil Kege, I think it's this guy here, um, 
he went on to do the solo work. He did a bunch of solo albums. Uh, great stuff, though. Uh, Phil Kagey was a great guitarist. He was so good. His style is really fluid, and some of the songs on here are sound like, you know, just great psych stuff, but on the mellow side. But yeah, the songs like Can You See Me, Children's Fantasy, Changes, Black Horse, Whatever Life Demands, Look in the Sky, On Our Own, all of it's really good. Glass Harp, the first album from 1971. Great stuff. This, uh, a few more here. Uh, this is Art Supernatural Fairy Tales. This is really good. Uh, it, this originally came out, I think, in 1968 or 67, possibly. But this is an unofficial release on uh, Lot Records. But uh, yeah, this is so good. Uh, just a great psych album, great harmonies, great guitar work. This band, um, after this album, uh, Gary Wright joined the band, and then they changed their name to Spooky Tooth. But this is uh, pre-Spooky Tooth, their first uh, recordings, they're just so good. And songs like, I Think I'm Going Weird, What's That Sound, which is a... Uh, uh, cover of Buffalo Springfield's For What It's Worth, uh, African Thing, Room With A View, Love Is Real, Brothers, Dads, Mothers, it's great stuff from art and supernatural fairy tales. <clears throat> Excuse me. Up next, this is The Nice, uh, The Thoughts of Emerald Dave Jack. Uh, this is their first album. Uh, great stuff. Songs like Flower, King of Flies, Thoughts of Emerald's Dave Jack, Bonnie K, Rondo, War and Peace, Tantalizing Maggie, Dawn, and Cry of Eugene. But really good stuff. This album is more psychedelic than their albums that followed after this. The, especially the one Arslanga Vita Brevis. That one's like totally classical. Because after this, Keith Emerson kind of dominated and uh, they started doing more classical oriented music. But this one, great. It's really good, really good sight. It's great stuff. Uh, there you go. The Thoughts of Emerald's Day Attack by The Knights. Nice. And up next. This is uh, Vanilla Fudge, Renaissance. Uh, this is, I think, their third album, maybe their second. It came out in 1968. Um, really good stuff, almost. Uh, it sometimes sounds a bit classical, uh, but yeah, great stuff on here. The Sky Cried When I Was a Boy, Thoughts. Paradise, that's what makes a man the spell that comes after, and they do a killer version of Donovan's Season of the Witch. It's really, really good stuff. Uh, great album to listen to when you got a good buzz. Uh, Vanilla Fudge, Renaissance. And then the last one here, this is uh, Miles Davis and Sonny Rollins, Dig. This, uh, was recorded in October of 1951 and uh, this is great. It's really good. It's got Miles Davis, Sonny Rollins, Jackie McLean on alto sax, Walter Bishop on piano, Tommy Potter on bass, and Art Blakey on drums. This is really good. I found this used for about eight dollars ten dollars something like that and this is so good i just couldn't believe it i'm pretty sure this is a reissue i don't think it's an original but it's, it's on the, the prestige label distributed by uh, fantasy uh, 
but yeah, great stuff. If you like Miles Davis, check this out. It's just so good. Uh, Dig with Miles Davis and Sonny Rollins. So that's it for this week. I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed in the last few weeks, and thanks to everyone who leaves comments. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're all enjoying great music this weekend, and I guess that'll be it, and I'll see you next weekend.